Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general love reading. Uh, this, uh, this is going to be for the uh, collective. Uh, so this is going to be for the first half of your um, April from the 1st to 15th. We're going to take a look at your overall energies uh, regarding love and the person that you're connecting with, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the first half of the month. And then we'll take a look at your person to see what their current uh, feelings and intentions are towards you what the overall energies are, and then uh, we'll finish off the read with what the possible outcome and advice are. So before we get started, if you guys haven't uh, subscribed to my channel yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys can get um, up-to-date content that's being uploaded on my channel. Uh, give this video a thumbs up, like this video, so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. And uh, if you could leave a message um, or a comment in the uh, comment section below, uh, if this message resonated with you. All right, so let's get started here. Overall energies for the collective regarding love and the person that they're connecting with. What does the collective need to know? What can the collective expect for the first half of April from the 1st to the 16th? Overall energies for the collective regarding love and the person that they're connected with. What does the collective need to know? What can the collective expect regarding love and the person that they're connecting with? From uh, for April from the first to the fifteenth. You have the Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, anything. Right, Eight of Cups, the Empress, Libra, Taurus, Energy, King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and the Seven of Swords. Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck here. And then you have the Ace of Wands. So I'm getting three people here. Seems like someone can't really be trusted. And then we have an Empress and the King of Wands here. And then we have someone walking away from this. I don't know if someone's like planning something or contemplating something. Uh, I mean, we have four court cards around. Uh, uh, on the table right now, so I'm not sure what's going on. So we're gonna get some more messages here. Uh, what is going on with the Sunlight of Cups? What's going on with the Star Cups here? Cups, Page of Pentacles, more court cards. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. Okay, so we have an Empress and then the Emperor here. So this Emperor is walking away. What's going on with this uh, Empress? You have the Ten of Cups. Seems like someone's walking away from someone that has everything but someone or that could potentially provide that. King of Wands, Five of Pentacles. 
All right, so we have someone here that's walking away from someone. We have, so this, this, I feel like this knight, this page of pentacles is this emperor here. They're walking away from an empress. An empress, basically, this empress has everything. Um, and then you have the king of wands that feels left out in the cold. And then you have the king of cups here that's been left hanging. Um, what's going on with the seven of swords? And then you have the strength card. Leo energy. You have the Ace of Wands again. Did I see that? No. So the Ace of Wands is here, and then we have it here again. Okay. I feel like someone's trying to sneak their way into someone's life, but I feel like they are trying to hold back from doing that. Um, I'm not quite sure if, I mean, this King of Wands and this King of Cups could be the same person here. You know, maybe this Empress was fooling around with the King and this Emperor left. Uh, after that happened, this Empress could have left this King on red uh, or just left them out in the cold because uh, it seems like this king is alone right now and I feel like this king is trying to sneak their way back into this empress's life all right let's see what's going on here you have the knight of cups the page of pentacles the eight of cups and the emperor you have the Empress being clarified by the Ten of Cups. You have the King of Wands being clarified by the Five of Pentacles. You have the King of Cups being clarified by the Hangman. The Seven of Swords being clarified by the Strength card. All right, let's see here. Tell me about the person that the Collective is dealing with. What are their current overall energies towards the collective? What are their true feelings and intentions towards the collective? What does the collective need to know? What can the collective expect from their person for the first half of April from the 1st to the 15th? come back out. We'll see if these come back out. You have the chariot, cancer energy. Cancer energy, any of the fixed signs. You have the Page of Wands. You have the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy, and the Knight of Pentacles. You got the Eight of Swords. So, I do feel like this these kings are the same person. Um, maybe someone regrets not opening up their emotions. I just feel like someone wants to come back around and I feel like it's this king. I'm wondering if this king and this emperor is the same person, but I just, I don't feel that. Because I feel like this, I feel like this emperor walked away. Let's get some more messages here. What is going 
going on with this chariot here? The chariot and the moon, Cancer Pisces energy. What's going on with this King of Wands? again. Starting to feel like this emperor might be the same person here. Someone walked away from someone. Tell me about this world. You have the six of swords. What's going on with the page of wands? You have the eight of pentacles. What's going on with this uh, tower? Six of Cups. What's going on with the Knight of Pentacles? And then the Nine of Pe Knight of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy. Someone wants to come back around. Did someone leave an Empress? Someone left an Empress and now they're trying to come back? Why they left? I'm not really sure. Could be that maybe someone here was hiding secrets. Feels like this king or slash emperor here. Yeah, it just see, it seems like someone is just thinking about regret here, uh, about not maybe um, revealing something, or, or that there was a fear, or that there was holding back, and... Um, maybe some someone it seems as though someone might have taken too long to taken too long to think of something or yeah it just seems like someone here has very deep emotions towards an empress and they want to move back towards this individual. Yeah, the cycle's not ending for this person. This person wants to reconcile. This person is emotionally going through some emotional upheaval. Yeah, I feel like this person wants to come in and apologize to an empress. All right, you have the chariot being clarified by the moon, the king of wands being clarified by the empress. Right, you have the world being clarified by the Six of Swords, the Page of Wands being clarified by the Eight of Pentacles, and then the Tower being clarified by the Six of Cups, and the Knight of Pentacles being clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. Let's see here. What is the possible outcome and advice here for the collective regarding the life situation? What does the collective need to know? What can the collective expect? for the first half of April from the first to the 15th. Cups, the Devil, Capricorn energy, the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. So we have the Tower here two times. Pisces, the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces energy, and then the Three of Swords, and then the Nine of Cups. Like, I just feel like someone's walking away from the conflict, walking away from the toxicity. Maybe you guys had multiple tarot moments in the past and someone fears that just having those tarot moments again because a lot of the times it could be 
sort of very painful, especially in a situation like this. this five of wands. All right, so I was, when I was shuffling, this popped out, so this is coming out again. Five of wands, nine of wands. Someone's just tired of the drama. Tell me about the eight of cups. You got the two of wands. It's like, I feel like someone's asking someone to pick a lane here. What's going on with the devil? You got the eight of pentacles. What's going on with the tower? You got the three of swords again. What's going on with this high priestess? You got the two of swords. What's going on with the three of swords? And the judgment. You got the page of swords on the bottom of the deck here. Page of swords, the tower. There's going to be unexpected communication here from someone. Unexpected communication, unexpected reconciliation. Um, I mean, this empress could have walked away from this emperor slash king because of their toxic behavior or because of the drama, someone's sick of it. Um, maybe someone here doesn't know what they want. Someone's asking someone to pick a lane. I mean, uh, there could be lies and deception going on in this connection too, because you have the three of swords here two times. So there's going to be unexpected communication, unexpected reconciliation. In terms of this resolving and you guys maybe getting back together, um, I don't think so. Because someone's trusting their intuition that this is, this is not, this is not real. Or that someone just doesn't want to hear someone. All right, you have the five of wands and the nine of wands, eight of cups and the two of wands. You have the eight of pentacles being clarifying the devil, the tower being clarified by the three of swords. And then you have the High Priestess being clarified by the Two of Swords and the Three of Swords being clarified by the Judgment. So uh, it seems as though there's been a lot of heartbreak in this connection here. Um, and I feel like someone's coming back around. There's going to be some sort of unexpected communication, a message, maybe through text message or email. Um... Yeah, it seems as though someone got left out in the cold or someone left and now someone's coming back around to fix this. So, Collective, this was your general love reading for the first half of your April from the 1st to the 15th. If this resonated, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.